It's been amazing to see everybody, the leaders that came from Amadou Stable, and it reminds me of all the guys that are not here. And if we could capture the genius, the passion, the sheer talent and, and fervor for social transformation. We're not into politics, so, so do not politicians, we're not afraid we, right? We just want Salon in better. But if we could capture that, yeah. right? We will be able to see massive changes in Sierra Leone in our lifetime. And that's what I got from this uh, gathering today. There was, there, was, there was empires in Africa called Kush. Timbuktu, where every race came to get books. Put my success to you, even if you wish me the opposite. Sooner or later, we'll all see who the prophet is. Now we've had S.C. Roji as one of the most outstanding palm wine guitar players um, in Sierra Leone. After S.C. Roji, I have not known any other than the one and only Abdul T.J. Rokoto. And if you want to see, there's a DVD right back there that you can partition. Boys Naughty is on there. Accra is there. And it's a DVD which I did in Sierra Leone called Real Lives Sierra Leone. And we looked at the day of a life, the day of um, the day of, uh, of a child in Sierra Leone, both rich and poor. We looked at um, cloth weaving. We looked at how we make gari. We looked at going for going at uh, Dove Court Market. Please put your hands together for the one and only Alim Kamara. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 I said greetings, ladies and gentlemen. All right, listen. Yo, when I say Ulyssa, you say Madi, Ulyssa, Ulyssa. When I say Ulyssa, you say Madi, Ulyssa, Ulyssa. We used uh, greeted 
rather uh, received very well, I should say, received very well by the uh, audience out there. And you're seen very much as the uh, future of Sierra Leone, being one of the, uh, if you like, uh, young leaders, trendsetters at this present time of Sierra Leonean culture. Yeah. Uh, how do you cope with that responsibility? How do you take that responsibility uh, so much for a young man? Um, I think it's it's more of a case of saying to whoever's following me, I don't want them to follow me. Um, take an example from me and learn from what I do. Because uh, I think it was Tupac Shakur that was like, look, I can only do me with what I do. You listen, Maddie can only do him and what he done. I, I want it to be a case where you, there are certain people or people that you can look up to and there are people you can look into. I want it to be a thing where people look into me and then walk. Because if you're looking up, you're going to eventually bang yourself yeah, and bump into the wall. So I want it to be a case where look at what I do and hopefully if I can inspire the next generation, then for me that makes a beautiful difference and a beautiful impact. Tell it in the booth when troops attack tribes, bullets let loose, snatch the lives of the poor. Try to imagine, I chose this rapid to awaken. The hood and the grass worn and blazed by the children with women poor waterfalls. Innocent style, black in the law. The justice we march back and forth. Get ignored, angry, deported and caught. Press on the floor, it's a liberty being birthed in war. With our sponge generation Soaking up songs of amazing grace Stolen from the cotton Fields making slaves Now I'm filled with a rage That's controlled on the page Air down on the stage My poetry's uh, far fetched from my face My purpose get heard and inspired back to faith Skirts no bigger than belts and high folks Men that were raised by hell and heart stroke It is what it is Mike Brown of Ferguson, Missouri, 18 years of age. Mark Duggan of Tottenham, North London, 29 years of age. Eric Garner, Staten Island, New York, 43 years of age. All killed in the hands of a white police officer. You see, I spent years trying to work out what's left to right. Right to wrong and the wrongdoings of the ones who call themselves law abiders. My mind overflows with questions. Questions that have been left out in the wilderness, neglected. Is the racial discrimination coming from a single officer or a task for the whole force to complete? We, we do not, not discriminate, but simply challenge crime. Then tell me why on average a young black man is likely to get stopped 28 more times on a daily basis. Why can't I travel to the local shop in my hoodie without being interviewed pointlessly? Why does it take several years for a black man to claim justice? Why can't I walk around and design the clothes without being watched like a prey? Is there a situation where I feel like I'm receiving help from the police rather than prejudice? Is there a day where I can have a normal conversation that will boil tension in the air? Since when was every Muslim a terrorist? Why are young people educated into the fact that the police are racist? When is a black person going to be able to join the police force without feeling they betray their own people? See, if my words were sores, then let my poetry be my shield and let the paper I write on be a field to batter up my thoughts and emotions. See, I always seem to think about who I am. Who are you? If you're not defined by a name, then who are you to talk about identity? It's a bit ironic, isn't it? Twinkle, twinkle, little star No one knows who you are In this world that we live in Society deemed us to make us think that you were fit for the job but they defined you by the colour of your skin For to battle you couldn't even win so they pinned you down like a safety pin Said it was safe to play the game even though you lost anyway You see, identity's funny, you know we all live in one society, but we black people segregate ourselves. The light skin from black, the brown skin from black, and the dark skin from black. And at the end of the day, we're all black. Mine, 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 never say that word, the N word. A contemptuous term for black people used to destroy into the dignity of blacks. How can we black people get offended by other races saying the N word when we use it as a general term in songs, in films, in everyday life? The word has been stripped down of its meaning. Where is the logic? Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, Rose and Parson, Malcolm X all worked hard for the rights of blacks, but here we are killing ourselves. You see, identity is undefinable. You can never know your identity because the side justifies who you are every day. You define who you are. This is for the ones who say my identity equals the unknown value of X. Oh, oh.
have the time to fall in love Cause everybody's giving up Don't wanna be somebody's crush But I Backstage at the Rich Mix here in East London, we are celebrating the life of Yulisa, Amadou, Maddy, and we have with us uh, another pair of guests for you. We have Zulu, boom, and also as well the lovely young lady Asabi. Asabi and Zulu, okay, talking to us about the uh, great Sierra Leonean author, playwright, and also as well lecturer Yulisa Maddy. How did you enjoy the performance today? Loved it. Loved it. It was that the spirit was alive. We did, we did um, one, it wasn't for you, Lisa, but we did an event similar, remembering Sierra Leone Beyond the Bowler about a month two ago, months. two months ago. And the vibes was good, but today the vibes was great, you know. But then I guess when you connect with your ancestral realm, yeah, then you know, everything does turn up. So, yeah, yeah, the vibration today was uh, extraordinary, I must say. Yeah, it was definitely uh, very vibrant, energetic uh, performances that was happening out there. You said uh, you did a um, event for Sierra Leone in uh, aid of the Ebola crisis. How did that go? Um, that was good. It was the same organizers and it was downstairs in the same place. So this is, that was kind of like the, the fetus. <laughs> and then today was like the birth, you know? So, yeah. yeah. So when are we going to get the life? When are we going to get the living and the liberty? When are we going to go into the next stage? Because we have to keep Sierra Leone at the forefront and also as well let people know that Africa is not all about desperation, all about diseases, all about poverty. I love what you're saying because, like you said, more time that's the image that we're portrayed to, to give us that negative ideology or the negative connotation or attachment to the situation. But you saw clearly today that it's not that. You know, and look how far we are from Sierra Leone, but yet still the vibe is alive. I'm not Sierra Leone, Sierra Leonean personally, but Asabi is. So it's good to see past, present, future. Asabi, as a Sierra Leonean, how uh, did you feel seeing your... Uh, Sierra Leoneans in London celebrating the life of one of your great countrymen. Um, I felt very proud and I also felt proud to be a part of the celebrations and get up, get up on stage and do my thing because um, I do a lot of performing, I do a lot of singing and I do a lot of um, things musically and to be able to d use that to uh, celebrate where I come from as well and celebrate my roots and all of that is a beautiful thing and it's something that I've been wanting to do for time so as these things are coming up, um, obviously bringing my brother along, it's just, it's just beautiful to be able to be a part of it. Are you on ready for dance, Kumbi? Yes. Una shout already, eh? Yes. All right. Oh. Where is Baba Adesose? All right. Where is Baba Adesose's drum? Who's, who's, who's pulled the chair from behind me? Oh, sorry, the, the, the album is five pounds on the table. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I want us to first of all do, um, we are going to do one song that was done by Ulyssa Madumadi called Big Berry.
Faisal Amadou Mani, David Mascarine. A big up for the percussion.